master of ceremonies for the phone on events. As we celebrate the grand 60 years of the Department of Psychiatry, PGIMER Chandigarh, it is only fitting to commence by honoring our founder and teacher. Let us listen to our founding father, late Professor Narendra Nath Vig. Although we miss his physical presence today, we can still cherish his golden words of wisdom that he shared during the Golden Jubilee celebration exactly a decade ago. So let us listen to him through this recording. of training centers in India. 
I qualified in MBBS in 1953 from King George's Medical College Lucknow. And in 53, there was no training program in psychiatry in all of India. The first one was the NIMHANS, which was at that time our India Institute of Mental Health started in 54. So I was advised to MD psychiatry, which I MD medicine. And after completing my MD medicine, I moved to psychiatry and all that. So the training program nowadays, almost every medical college, almost every major hospital in the country has a psychiatric service. It's a remarkable change which in 50 years has taken place. So as I said, the first thing was the training center which started. Second thing which came was perhaps the general hospital psychiatry. Earlier there was no general hospital psychiatry. Psychiatry only meant mental hospital. And the first unit I can say in Lucknow when I started in 1958, one of the earliest in North India, and then here in PGI and so on. But General Hospital Psychiatry, as Dr. Kala, I don't know if he's here somewhere, and he has mentioned in an article that this is a silent revolution in psychiatry which took place in India. Few countries have done that that the general hospital psychiatry has been so widely spread now which happened. The third thing which happened was so quickly that within general hospital psychiatry 15 years we moved an other big step, community psychiatry. It was unknown earlier and we reached the villages we in here Raipur Rani and Karagwatla and Bangalore and other places and set up a new program that reaching the villages, training the primary care worker, training the nurses, doctors and others and seeing patients where they are rather than waiting for them in the hospital. This was a tremendous change I think which was a big step which took place. An earlier thing following by that and when I was also personally involved was the development of the national program of mental health which was something huge and big which we did at that time in 1982 the national program which came in the being and along with that ICMR helped us greatly <coughs> number of projects and all that in 80s which came in uh, psychiatry around the time and the next decade saw new development about uh, the human rights of the mentally ill and the judiciary intervention, number of NGOs which came and also the pharma industry which came up and almost every major drug is now available in India which we are producing on our own. So all these developments made this tremendous difference which we are seeing now and all that. When I was looking at the historical background of this development, I think one report which changed the medical setup in India was Bohr Committee report. I don't know how many of you have came to read it, I will suggest you read it once again particularly the section on mental health which they talk about. Almost all the things which we have done surprisingly in 1946 before independence board committee had already thought and talked about these things which we have done in the next 15 years. For example, board committee before if you go through the opening line says that the physical and mental health are interrelated. No oh, health program be can be complete without availability of treatment for mental illness and for promotion of positive mental health. 
what we are talking today from madness to mental health, all the people in 1946, they had talked about this, that this is the basis for the mental health. The second thing they suggested for training of local program here, and that is where the NIMHANS and other things come up. Then they also started the beginning of general hospital psychiatry, advising that the All India Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi, which should have a department of psychiatry for training of undergraduates and for research and all that. So all these things were thought of earlier. And even I was surprised to felt and felt quite humble when I read that in the board committee there is a recommendation that there should be a program for the country. They didn't use the word national program of mental health, but there should be a program for mental health in the country involving all the provinces. At that time the word was provinces. So all this you find surprisingly that the board committee had thought of and said these things in 1946. The present scene is very interesting in 50 years. That one that that stigma has not gone away, I wouldn't say that, but much reduced. Now people are coming forward for treatment in psychiatry and they reach the outpatient and various services are now, people are using it much more than they were ever using before. Interestingly, they have made their own language, their own terms. For example, in my practice I find a very common word which people use, okay, tension. tension हर चीज की टेंशन होती है, इनको दिखाना है, ये टेंशन बहुत लेती है। इवन सिनेमा में भी डायलॉग होंगे, टेंशन नहीं लेने का भाई, ये जो बहुत इस जो टेंशन वर्ड इस बिकम पार्ट ऑफ़ हमारे लिंगो, एंड दैट मींस एक्सेप्टेंस दैट सिक्योरिटी नीड इज़ देयर, दिस इज़ इम्पोर्टेंट। सेकंड वर्ड व्हिच � when they want to talk about serious mental illness, they would say, this child has depression, and they say, for 4-5 years, they have depression. They say, they don't have to 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 say, so this is their description, how the minor and serious mental illness in their own language, but that means acceptance of stuff. And the third thing, I remember when Savita pointed out to me that the patients often come nowadays and tell the psychiatrist that the child has to counseling. So the word counseling also has been adopted and brought in and people are now accepting that this is what psychiatrists do. So it's a remarkable change that how the common man has taken up these things which are there. As I have said many times and I repeat that our is a unique speciality. We should be proud of it because this is a speciality which combines the best of science with best of art of healing much more than any other speciality does. And there are three things to my mind which our speciality does. The first thing is that our speciality looks at the problem in totality. We are not thinking only of the symptom and the organ and the disease, but we are thinking of the totality, what is this person, what is his background, what is his environment. This is the first thing that looking at totality, this is what psychiatry is special. And the second thing about psychiatry is special to my mind is that in psychiatry we look at human suffering, inner suffering much more than any other speciality does. We don't stop simply at symptom, but the inner anguish, the inner pain, the inner suffering which is what psychiatry 
specially looks at. And the third thing, of course, that we offer treatment, not only the drugs, but psychotherapy, counseling, whatever you say, this is the third thing which distinguishes us from other speciality. So I would say that this special kind of our image, hold on to that, don't lose it. I'm, if you, uh, I'm reminded of how this term came. In 1808, there was this man, Johann Christian Reil, in Germany, who introduced this term psychiatry in 1808. He died in 1813 November, perhaps two months from now, you will be hearing again about his 200 years of his death and all that. But this man climbed the term psychiatry and he pointed out that psychiatry is not just a branch of medicine. It's not a branch of theology, religion. It's not a branch of forensic science, but it's a speciality by its own right. And he pointed out that in the clinical side, there are three major approaches. All other speciality are either age-related, gender-related, organ-related, disease-related. But there are three approaches to clinical medicine. One is medical approach, other is surgical approach, and third is psychiatric approach, which cuts across all specialities. And, and everywhere we psychiatry will be applied. So I think this is the glorious heritage and I feel very proud when Savita was just before me talking about various things which this department has done. And in this department, we did not confine ourselves only to the limited goal of seeing patients and training and research and end of it, no. We believe that our role is a national role and doing things as we have been doing in the national program of mental health or the telehealth society <coughs> which Savita is doing or what Ajit and Batsu they are doing in Punjab, the drug the addiction program and all that. All these I think are glorious examples that do not confine yourself, limit yourself that this is what it is, go beyond at the national level and take up the national issue. This is the greatness of our department which made me very proud. Savita quoted a Urdu couplet, I will also quote the Iqbal Kabul, she that don't limit yourself. This goes like this. Chand kaliyon par kanahat kar gaya. Tu hi nada chand kaliyon par kanahat kar gaya. Varna gulshan mein ilaje tangi ye dhama bhi hai. Meaning thereby that you simple fool, you got satisfied by plucking a few parts of flower. But fool, there was the whole garden in front of you. You could have picked the whole garden but you got satisfied by picking up few but this is not your aim. You have to go much bigger. And this is the message from our department that keep your aims high, do bigger things at the national level and so on. Thank you very much all of you. Just before just before the next one starts, you might be uh, you might be wondering that why we are showing this very elderly gentleman who hardly can speak and then later, later on taken over by his daughter. You are going to see Professor V.K. Varma, who, who is actually the architect of this department, sitting there. He is not well. He, he, he can't speak very well. He has severe cognitive impairment now. He is in USA. He resides in USA. These are his, this is his family, his son, uh, son wife, and, and uh, 
uh, you know, son and daughter this side. So over the next 15 years, he's going to talk about he's the one who actually created the department under Professor N. N. Big. So although he won't be able to speak much, but I think there's something. It is our way of showing our homage and respect. His son was kind enough to get it recorded and send it to me. So yeah, please. First, 2023. Dear friends and colleagues, while I speak from from my my new home, new home in Illinois, my heart goes back to my other home, comma PGI MER Chandigarh, where the Department of Psychiatry uh, is celebrating its 60th anniversary. While in the first few years uh, from his inception, I am uh, um, um, integrating um, the work and the book publication. Mm -hmm. To quote Winston Churchill, 50 million uh, will be kind to me as I intend uh, mm -hmm. to write a late paper out of the of it, 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 uh, myself. A picture of myself. I joined the Department of Psychiatry, PGI, on 14 February and 1969 as an as assistant professor of psychiatry. Uh, professor Ellen yeah. Wake was the head of the department at the, uh, after Professor Wake uh, left in. Uh, in 1968. No, June 1980. Yeah, in June 1980, I took over as a head of department. In June, June, May 1980, it took a lot of years for me to for me to ascend, ascend to full. Uh, I finally died from the from PGI. On, uh, on from PGI on the 30th of November 1966, so a total of 27 years. I joined the Department of Psychiatry in PGI 19, uh, 14 February uh, 1969 as the starting salary of rupees 1000 per month, uh, which uh, rupees 100 per month. Uh, Dear Mr. Barnes, I had uh, completed my graduate studies at the University of uh, 1969, uh, 1969, and qualified uh, uh, for the uh, 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 fellowship of the uh, Royal College of Psychiatry. Soon after, we had lived uh, in England. In England. In uh, sector 24, uh, we, moved, we moved from uh, the house uh, uh, in 724 to house number 63 and finally to house number 65, right across from the PGI plot. I'd like to speak on behalf of my father. Yeah. and continue with his message to you, his friends and colleagues at PGI. I remember in those early days when I had just moved to Chandigarh with my wife and my young daughter. In the evenings, we used to stroll around Neelam Cinema in, in Sector 22 and enjoy, no, it, was, it was Sector 17. We used to stroll around Neelam Cinema in Sector 17 and enjoy mutton kebabs of the tailors in Sector 22. Our wants were few and life was simple. I was recognized in Chandigarh by the car I drove, a white Mercedes 200D, which we had, had shipped from Germany to England, from there to Calcutta, then Patna, and finally Chandigarh. After retirement in India, I had kept myself busy with engagements at Columbia, at Columbia University, Indiana University, and engagements with hospitals and the veterans healthcare system in the state of Indiana. Thanks to my training in the United States through the 1960s, I was given a medical license to practice medicine in the state of Indiana. 
I finally retired from all clinical and teaching work in 2020. Let me tell you about the early days in PGN. Perhaps my very first encounter with Professor Ludwig illustrates his sensitivity to socio-cultural factors. The very day after I joined PGI, Professor Wick took me home for lunch. In the course of our conversation, he remarked, you're a Verma and a Bihari guys. When I said yes, he gave me a task to name the 12 subcasts of Gaius. Gaius, the scribe caste, have originated from the god Chitragupta, and the 12 subcasts are named after his 12 sons. I gave up after naming six or seven, whereupon he provided me with a beautiful write-up on the history of Gaius, which I preserved with myself for many, many years. Being a non-Punjabi created its own challenges for me. Early during my employment, I was once asked to head the department when both Professor Wayne and Dr. J. S. Teja were away. One of our staff, Mr. Mohinder Singh, wanted to take leave. Why? My Maji is ill, he said. When he returned, I inquired, how is your Maji now? My mother, what happened to my mother? No, Dr. Sam, I met my Maji, my buffalo was ill. <coughs> Let me tell you about the organization of the department. Chandigarh was envisaged by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru as the replacement for Lahore, the capital of unified Punjab on the banks of the Ravi. PGI was the brainchild. PGI was the brainchild of Sardar Pratap Singh Kairam to replace the famous King Edwards Medical College in Lahore. Much of the initial faculty came as transplants from Lahore through GMC Amritsar. To start with, psychiatry was a division in the Department of Medicine. Harish Verma was the first graduate with an MD in medicine with a special subject in psychiatry. He was followed by Dinesh Shah, then Roshan Lal Naran, and then by Bahadish Chand Khanna and Bharat Raj Nakra. On the 1st of April, 1967, PGI was designated as an institute of national importance, one of only two institutions thus designated, the other one being Ames, New Delhi. It gave it a truly all India character. This was also the time when the Department of Psychiatry was formal, formally established and the MD residency program started in psychiatry. The first full batch of five junior residents consisted of Subhash Bhatia, Salman Akhtar, Param Kulhara, Harish Malhotra and Sarjit Singh. The first two successfully appeared at the MD examinations in December 1971, at the height of the Indo-Pak War of 1971. The other three in May 1972. The second full batch consisted of Anil Suri, Anindo Ghosh, Anirudh Kala, and Virendra Mohan. And they were there in the early 1970s. Then there was a two-sum of Srinivas Murthy and Kasturi Lal Gag. Then there was a batch of three ladies, Savita Malhotra, then Gupta, Ushara, and Sutha Jain. It was followed by another batch of four, Sudhir Khandelwal and others. Tal Sharma from Nepal and A.G. Asad from Palestine were the only foreigners during my time. Many of the residents have subsequently distinguished themselves in academic psychiatry. Dr. Dr. Srinivas Murthy occupied a very important position at the WHO and at Nimha, Nimhans, Bangalore. Both Subhash Bhatia and Salman Akhtar went on to full professorship in the USA. Rakesh Chadda is now a full professor at Ames. Param Kulhara and Savita Malhotra succeeded me as the director and HRD PGI and were illustrious successors in their own ways. Anirudh Kala became a full professor in Ludhiana and later started a very prestigious psychiatric center there. Virinder Mohan and Sarjit Singh went on to very successful private practice. Sudhir Khandelwal went on to be the HOP at Ames. Vimal Sharma made a name for himself in geriatric psychiatry, along with Professor Copeland at Liverpool. These were my students, my grand students, and my great grand students. By reciprocity, I became their guru. Dada Guru, Pardada, and this one added by me, Della Kardada. I played my part in those early formative years of the department under the able support and guidance of Professor Wade. 
I have been an integral part of the development of the departmental services, training program, research, writing papers and books, encouraging junior staff in their professional ambitions, liaison with the Institute and its part in national and international associations and activities. These are mentioned in detail in my write-up in the journey of the department book. In fact, we were on good terms with the entire community of psychiatrists throughout India. We were colleagues, friends and family. We hosted so many delegates at home very often to midnight and beyond. Throughout all this, I remain profoundly grateful to my wife, Nirmala, for her support and encouragement, holding down the fort at home, bringing up our children, whilst I pursued my professional endeavors. In keeping with the central message of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, I have always considered myself to be a I remember very fondly when we posted the World Association of Social Psychiatry from the 9th through 13th November 1992 in New Delhi, presided over by me and with Dr. Skulhara Malik and Malhotra as Congress Secretaries. The Congress theme was the developed world and the third millennium, and we met the challenges of hosting this prestigious international meet through teamwork and collaboration. On a personal note, my time at the PGA was momentous to myself and my family. Our son Ravish was born here in 1973, our granddaughter Ashna in 1988. Our children, Ravish and Rina, went through the regimen of St. John's School, Carmel Convent School, Punjab Engineering College, and Chandigarh College of Architecture. Ravish and Rina followed in my yes, it is me. to earn I cannot their get in. I'm here sitting in front of the computer. The department and, and the PGI was on, but like a film. Time I get when a Ravish had a roadside post accident post in May 1993, faculty. from which he barely uh, survived, and a the entire of three department was there as one person, night and day. On his recovery in my Thanksgiving card to the department, I cited the Lord's Prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. What should I do? Lord, Make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me see. I am, uh, I just where told there is you injury, I've been locked pardon, on. Where there is doubt, getting a message. Where there is despair, host too, where there is darkness, faculty, light, and where budget, there is sadness, sah, joy. Oh, divine uh, master, uh, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to be consoled, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved to be as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in done that we are born. So I should just life. wait where I am now? Amen. I then added a concluding message. And such marvelous institutes of his eternal peace, you have all been. So here are my final words. From a one-man beginning, I do? the department has greatly progressed to its current size and stage. I should log out. During the tenure of and Professor Savita Malhutra, the department inaugurated the opening of five beds for child and adolescent I log psychiatry out now in April and I 2013. Wait. January 2014 marked the beginning of a DM in addiction psychiatry. After how many minutes? This was the first such program okay. in the country and a DM in child psychiatry soon thereafter in the same year. Later, during Professor Avasti's tenure as head, a one-year fellowship course had been started in consultation liaison psychiatry. There are no prizes for correctly guessing who would have been the happiest man amongst us today. It would have been Professor Enenbeek. His brainchild has grown and prospered so much. It's hard to think of the development encompassing so many diverse areas, training, service, research, prof professional, organizational, and leadership activities. Let me conclude on a personal note by acknowledging his contribution not only to the department, but also to me personally, as my guide, my mentor in chief, by quoting the following couplet by Majru Sultan Puri. I had started traveling alone towards my destiny, but people kept coming together and the caravan kept growing and growing. I congratulate all those who had come before me, with me and after me in this journey together. It fills my heart with pride and joy to watch this caravan continue its meandering journey 
to the pages of history. One of my favorite students, Dev Ashish Boshu, is heading the department, and I wish him and his team every success, my blessings, and fondest best wishes from the bottom of my heart. Dev Ashish, do you remember when I had quoted the opening of Dev Das to you? I have given so much of myself to this department and have come to regard so many of you as my friends. You have been a very special part of my professional and personal life, and you still occupy a very special place in my heart. Thank you for including me today. Thank you.